Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today, we're gonna look at a super fun, very convincing looking torn and restored trick. This is Corner Piece from Steve Langston and Sean Ridgway. You can find this exclusively at Penguin Magic for about 30 bucks. What is Corner Piece? Corner Piece is a torn and restored card. It's a classic of magic. Taking a single card, holding it at the edges of your fingers, tearing it into fourths, showing four pieces cleanly, and then one by one, restoring the four pieces. Probably the most famous TNR is uh, Reformation from Guy Hollingworth, and I don't think I'm gonna be the first to make that comparison. When I first saw this done, that was my first thought, because in a lot of ways, it looks like Reformation, or at least how Reformation starts. So this starts exactly like a traditional TNR. Uh, you can have any card taken. The card can be signed on the face. The card is then turned around, folded in half, folded in fourths, unfolded. So now we see the card with the signature, with the crease marks. You then tear it into four pieces, and then one by one, it's a simple restoration until you get to the last piece. It's until that last piece that if you are doing this for a magician, if, you're, if a magician was watching you do this, they would think, oh, well, you're just doing, you're just doing reformation. You're doing Guy Hollingworth's reformation. Kudos to you. You spent two years of your life mastering that trick. Because <laughs> that's, because <laughs> like seriously, God, that trick is super hard to do. Reformation from Guy Hollingworth is master level, master level TNR. But that, that's why it's the best. That's why it's the best. It's the be because it's so slide of hand heavy, takes so much practice, but when you see it done cleanly, there, it, there's, there's no better. It, that is literally the pinnacle of TNRs, at least in my opinion. But in corner piece, and the reason why it's called corner piece is because your last corner piece, you've got three fourths of the card here, you got one corner piece. Instead of just putting it on and saying, all right, you're done, he attaches it too high. It sticks there. Too, too high. There's a gap. And then you're able to take your finger and go tap, 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 tap. And this corner piece slides into place and locks. And then you can spin it around, show the signature, hand it out. They can keep it as a souvenir. And you're like, oh, well, sure. And I bet it's as hard as uh, Reformation. Nope. It's not as hard as Reformation. All right, so let's say you pay $30 to penguinmagic.com. What are you going to get? Uh, you're going to get a little small tin. The small tin looks like a small mint box. And then inside that, you're going to get a gimmick. Now, the gimmick is made out of uh, red playing card back. Okay, it's, it's made from playing cards. So it's disguised to look like playing cards. You'll get a link to a tutorial. And the tutorial is, get ready for this, kids, two and a half hours long. Wow. Two and a half hours long. We'll talk about all of it. Um, is it what I thought? I had no idea what to think. I didn't, right? I didn't, I didn't have any clue how you could make a gimmick that would allow you to do this. So the gimmick is very creative. I've never seen a gimmick like this before. So not what I thought at all. But is it well made? I mean, it is well made. It is. And I think it's designed to take a beating, right? Could you make one yourself? Maybe? if you are really good at that kind of arts and crafts thing, but I think you'll at least get $30 worth of performances out of this before you, it even starts looking like it might want to be replaced. Like, I, I think if you're using torn cards already, torn cards already look a little beaten up just by their nature. So I don't think you have anything to worry about for quite a while. At least I don't think so. Um, how's the video? I said two and a half hours. How could this, how could this be two and a half hours? Like what, what do they cover? Let me tell you. The video is long and it's very detailed. And the reason is because you have two creators. You have Steve Langston and Sean Ridgway. And so you're going to get two live performances. And Sean and Steve are each going to teach you their own handlings. And you could say, well, I'm sure they're just, you know, 
variations on, on, on the same theme. Nope, they're not. They're completely different. One gimmick, and you can do two completely different ways to do this trick. Um, the first way is after tearing the card, you put all the pieces in your pocket. And then you restore the card as you take the pieces out of your pocket. So very different than the description I gave you earlier, right? The second one is what I said earlier. You tear the card and hold the pieces in your hand and then restore it one at a time. Camera shots, you're gonna get everything, everything. They're gonna do this to the camera and you're gonna get over the shoulder shots. Of that two and a half hours, almost an hour of it is dedicated just to the two routines, just those basic handlings. But there's more, they're gonna give you so much more. They're gonna give you a ton of ideas and different ways that you can think about performing this and to take it further than just a standard torn and restored. Like sure, it's a TNR, but what else could, what else could you do? They're gonna give you just a ton of ideas. They literally took the bucket, filled it up with as much as possible and then dumped it out on top of you and said, here, here's everything. It's like a, it's like a brain dump. And I've said this before. I've said, you know what? Video is free. Video is free. You keep that camera rolling and you just shoot as much as possible. That's exactly what Steve and Sean did. They shot as much as possible to give you as much as possible. And to get those over the shoulder shots, much needed, much needed. That, that's the way I learn best. And it doesn't matter if it's a slight free trick or not. I don't care if you've got a million slights or zero slights. I learn best with over the shoulder shots. I wanna see exactly what I'm supposed to see. And so big, huge thanks to them for doing that, especially on a TNR, which I think it's so important that you get those over the shoulder shots. Pocket space, I mean, you saw the gimmick, uh, uh, the, the, tin, the tin, right, that holds the gimmick. It's super small, like it's super small. So um, easily kept in a front pocket or somewhere secluded. Like this isn't gonna take up any pocket real estate at all. Like, don't even worry about it. Angles, um, of course there's angles, right? It's a TNR. And you're gonna provide some cover with your hands already, but the gimmick is so small and it blends in with the color of the back design that you're using. Plus, there's multiple pieces in your hand. Your spectator's not able to keep track. I think it's not surroundable, right? You can't do it surrounded. You can't have people behind you, but that's pretty much it. And like I said, you can spin that card around, show the signature, and it's inspectable at the end. So inspectable at the end. And of course, inspectable while they're signing it, right? There's two, two touch points there, so they're never gonna find a thing. How hard is this? We said it wasn't, wasn't as hard as Reformation. <laughs> okay, but it's, it's up there. It is up there. With two and a half hours worth of practice, the boys are really trying to cover all the bases so that you feel as prepared as you can be to do this trick because it's going to take some practice. As beautiful as that trick looks, it's going to take practice. So this is not, I would say this really isn't your, this shouldn't be your first TNR, okay? I think if, you, if you're a little inexperienced with Torn and Restored, maybe this shouldn't be the one you start with. Um, it could be, it could be, if you're willing to put in the time. But here's the thing, if you want magic that's that, that's that beautiful and that clean, it takes practice. It takes practice, a lot of practice. I got, I got this from Sean, this trick, a, a while back. Like, man, I wonder if it's been a month now. I wonder if it's been a month. And I bet Sean's been tapping his foot going, when's David gonna do the review? But <laughs> this took way more practice than I uh, normally put in. Uh, so many tricks that I get are either self-working or very close to self-working. Like, I'm... With the amount of tricks that come out in a year and the amount of tricks that come across my table, so many of them are easy, right? Because it's so much easier to sell a trick that anybody can do. If it says easy to do or self-working, you're gonna sell a million copies because that's what everybody wants. They, wanna, they want magic that they can just you know, pump out. That's not this. If you want a walk around worker, you're like, I want a torn and restored that I can just put into my walk around everyday act. I wanna do this from table to table. I want people to see this and just go, wow, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Then that's going to be corner piece. I mean, really. I mean, it's not as hard as Reformation, but it's not self-working. <laughs> so think of, think of the dial between 1 and 10 being on like 6 and 7, all right? It's somewhere in, in that 6 and 7 range. But positives, 
man, this is a strong worker, a strong worker. In fact, um, and I know this is a Penguin Magic release, so it maybe seems a little self-serving to say this, but Eric Tate put it in his recent video of best tricks of 2023. And I know Eric works for Penguin, of course, and you'd think, well, I, I expect him to say that. But the, Eric doesn't get paid extra to say that, and he could have made his top 10 anything. And I know Eric's a uh, working magician. Like out in Columbus, he does real walk around in real, real world environments. And I know Eric wants to put this into his walk around act. I love Eric. He's a fantastic magician, and I, I always enjoy seeing him in the videos. And he's not on this tutorial. He's not on this tutorial. He's not attached to this project in any way. But I think getting that um, endorsement, I think, is huge. So negatives, the, ne the only negative I have for this is this is for people who are willing to put in the work. You've got to be willing to put in the work if you, want to, if you want it to look that good. So is it worth your money? It is 30 bucks. You might feel a little underwhelmed getting the packaging. Like I said, it's, it's small. And when you open it, you might be thinking to yourself, that's it, that's worth 30 bucks. No, it's not worth 30 bucks. The two and a half hours of teaching, that's worth 30 bucks. The knowledge is worth 30 bucks. The fact that you're able to do this over and over and over again all night long for all the tables at your restaurant, that's worth 30 bucks. The fact that you'll be able to do it again the next night and the next night and the next night and that people will walk away after having seen this trick and say to themselves, that guy or that gal was a fantastic, magician that's worth 30 bucks and if you don't believe me you can watch the other reviewers that are out there on the internet you should if you're going to drop 30 bucks on a tnr please watch somebody else okay watch another reviewer um neek tan chats fantastic love the guy he's got a great channel neek tan will perform this for camera all in one take with no cuts i don't perform magic tricks i don't have time i don't have time to to perfect magic tricks to show on camera every single day. <laughs> I, I, I have another job, I have a job. I have a 40 hour a week job, I'm married, I have kids, <laughs> I have bills, I have other things that I do. I'm not a, I'm not a working pro, uh, you know, I, I just don't have the time to film live magic. But Neek Tan does, so subscribe, he's awesome. And then um, Blake Along, uh, up and comer, rising star of magic review channels, uh, make sure that you watch him and see what he has to say. Get a well-rounded opinion before you spend your money. And big, huge thanks to the creators and Penguin Magic for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. This is where you want to go, penguinmagic.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I know you've seen me in my videos wear this shirt a lot, the, the Magic Orthodoxy brand shirt. And I don't know if you know this, but this is not just a merch shirt. This is not just a shirt that has my brand. This is actually a magic trick. This is a magic reveal t-shirt that is available exclusively at my Teespring store. It was actually designed in Melbourne, Australia, and it is your 30-minute secret weapon because it looks like a seemingly innocent vintage tea, but all over this are six different magic reveals. So you got ESP reveals, coins, cards, the toxic forces on here, even a movie, and a lot more. You can use this as the grand finale of your entire close-up act. It's available in maroon, black, and gray, and I have another YouTube video that completely explains how to do a reveal for each one of these tricks. So I actually have a magic tutorial for this t-shirt on my channel. So it's, it's there, it tells you all about it if you want to learn more. Uh, or you can just go down to any one of the graphics that are down there, that'll take you out to the Teespring store if you click one of those. And thanks for watching guys, thanks for all your support.